In this video, I will be reviewing a product from Seed Technology, the Re-Terminal e-paper display. This device is available in two versions, monochrome and full color. For this demonstration, I will be focusing on the monochrome model. The display measures 7.5 inches and offers an impressive battery life of up to 3 months. It is powered by the ESP32-S3 and natively supports the SenseCraft HMI no-code UI platform, enabling effortless dashboard creation with minimal setup. Whether for smart home dashboard visualization, office displays, or educational projects, this ready-to-use HMI device delivers beautiful visuals and flexible customization in one elegant package. For more details, please visit the official website. The link is provided in the video description. Now, let's unbox the product. First, we have the Re-Terminal E1001 e-paper display. It features a 7.5-inch screen and a solid metal body, giving it a strong and durable build. On the back, you'll find several ports, including a USB Type-C port for power and flashing, an SD card slot for storing images, an on-off switch, and pin headers for connecting to microcontrollers via I2C communication. On the top side, there are also physical buttons, including a refresh button, as well as next and previous page buttons, making navigation simple and convenient. Inside the box, you'll also find a USB Type-C cable for charging and flashing, a 3D printed display stand with screws, and a screwdriver to help with assembly, and of course the quick start guide. That's everything inside the box. Now, let's set it up and see how the Re-Terminal e-paper display performs in action. First, let's assemble the 3D printed display stand with the included screws. This makes it easier to place the e-paper display securely on a desk and keeps it stable during use. To begin using the e-paper display, you can open the instruction page by scanning the QR code provided in the quick start guide. This will take you directly to the setup instructions and resources you need to get started quickly. To configure the e-paper display, we will use SenseCraft HMI provided by Seed Technology. It is an online application that can be accessed directly from a browser, with no installation required. Before using it, you need to log in with your account. If you don't have one yet, simply sign up for free to get started. After successfully signing up and logging into the SenseCraft HMI application, the next step is to power on the e-paper display for the first time. Slide the switch on the back of the display to the on position until the green indicator light turns on. Next, on your computer you will see a Wi-Fi SSID named Re-Terminal E1001. Click on this SSID to connect, then select Open Browser and connect to choose a Wi-Fi network from your local area. This allows the e-paper display to connect to your local Wi-Fi, so you can download projects directly from SenseCraft to the device. After setting up the Wi-Fi connection on the e-paper display, a pair code will appear on the screen. For now, we can ignore it. Next, connect the e-paper display to your computer using the USB Type-C cable. Next, open SenseCraft HMI again and go to the workspace. In the upper right corner, click on Device Flasher, then select the device, in this case, Re-Terminal Monochrome. Make sure to choose the latest firmware version. If you want to reset everything, including the Wi-Fi settings, check the Full Flash option. Then, click the Flash button on the right. If a pop-up appears asking for the serial port, select the correct port, you can verify it in the Device Manager. The device will then be flashed with the latest firmware for the best experience. Please wait a few moments until the process is complete, and do not disconnect the cable during this step. After flashing is complete, the e-paper display will show a new pair code. In SenseCraft, go to the Workspace page and select Add New Device. Enter a name for the device, then input the pair code currently shown on the e-paper display. Click the Create button, and once the notification confirms success, the device will appear in your workspace list. Next, in the workspace, click on your device to open the dashboard for adding pages to the e-paper display. 
On the left side, you will see several options, gallery for adding photos, canvas for custom displays, RSS for showing news, and web for displaying a web page. In the canvas section, there are currently four templates available. Here, I will try the weather forecast template. Search for your city, click preview, then select apply to canvas to add it. Finally, edit the city name to match the location you have chosen. Once the e-paper display layout is set up, download the content to the device by clicking deploy. If the display is in sleep mode, press the refresh button to bring it online and start downloading. Here is the e-paper display after downloading the content, showing the weather forecast. In this example, we only have one page. In SenseCraft HMI, we can also add multiple pages. Page switching can be done automatically based on a set time interval, or manually using the next and previous buttons beside the refresh button. For this demo, I will try the YouTube channel template. This template requires an API key in order to display information from a YouTube channel. To get an API key, first go to console.cloud.google.com. In the project menu, select new project to create a new one. For this example, I'll name the project YouTube API, then click the create button. After the project is created, click select project to open the YouTube API project page. Next, go to API and services under the quick access section. Click on the library tab, then search for YouTube Data API v3. Select it from the results, and click Enable to activate the API for your project. Once enabled, the API is ready to be used with our application. Next, click on the Credentials tab. For data processing, select Public Data and click Next. An API key will then be generated. Copy the API key that appears, and click Done to close the page. Now, this API key can be used to display YouTube channel data on the ePaper display through SenseCraft HMI. Make sure to keep the key safe, as it will be required whenever you connect to the YouTube template. Paste the copied API key into the YouTube Data API key field. In the YouTube Channel Identifier field, enter the name of your channel, then click Validate Channel. Make sure you see the notification channel found. Next, click Preview to check the layout, then click Apply to Canvas. You can also edit the page by adding text or other elements as needed. Next, I added a third page to display a photo using the image element. Click Add Image, then press the Upload button to select a picture. Adjust the size and position of the uploaded photo, and once it's ready, deploy it to the e-paper display to show all the content. Here is the e-paper display showing three pages. The pages can be switched manually using the buttons, or automatically based on the interval set in SenseCraft HMI. That wraps up today's review and walkthrough of the re-terminal e-paper display. Looking ahead, we hope that more templates will be added to SenseCraft HMI, giving users even greater flexibility in creating custom dashboards and displays. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials and reviews like this. Your support really helps us keep creating useful content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.